I normally don't put the 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 questions in here. I'm gonna put the questions in here. Oh, he's you know what I'm saying. This but this one right here. I want to hear her. No, 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 Will still, you're gonna see why. Okay. You're gonna see why, Will still. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Here we go. Since y'all be on Vice, watch this. I don't think I even realized the nuances between the huh? <laughs> today. Oh, oh, snap. I oh well maybe I didn't hear something properly. Let me rewind. Right back. Let me let me rewind. Cause you know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all wasn't listening. Maybe y'all wasn't telling them. I fuck. I think he's impressed the veteran players Shut so up, far. Mike. I don't think I even realized the nuances between the left and the left guard position until I talked to him today. Mm-hmm. But given that you think that he's so aggressive, was that why there was such a mindfulness about getting him into those positions and getting some fluidity of that position flex early on as opposed to getting him settled in one spot? Yeah, Just definitely. What well, is a big picture part to this too? I, I think anytime you have you know, you bring in new players to your organization, you, you want to, you know, create opportunities for them to be successful. And that's really what this is about. So uh, I think he's, uh, you know, seems a little more natural at guard right now. I know he's played tackle uh, in college, but, you know, he, he's uh, his aggressive nature fits bonds well for him in there. Um, so I, I think it's a real credit to him that, you know, because of his physical gifts that, I mean, when he, when he needs, like, you know, when, when young players, you know, hit a crutch point, you know, how they react. And his reaction is to, you know, maybe jump set a guy, be aggressive. So obviously I, I think it, that's a little bit more challenge out there on the edge with the type of players you're going to get against, particularly the pass rushers too. So, uh, but hey, we haven't put the pads on, you know, yet. It's, I've never, I never get really excited this time of year. I'm just trying to get everything taught. I, I really keep my eye on the target as far as just making sure they understand what they need to do. So I uh, hopefully nobody disappears that's having a great offseason program, but it has happened. So. Nuance, basically, just a just a uh, just a more translated version of what Mike was saying there. Um, Tyler Smith is a very physical player, very physical player, and he wins a lot of his reps with his physicality. Um, you know, with his angry asshole nature or whatever, trying to get hands on on guys quickly. And that would benefit him playing guard, right? Because it happens quickly inside, right? You know, guard center, you versus one text, three text. There's not a lot of room. There's not a lot of grass where guys are trying to beat you with speed necessarily. You may get beat with quickness. You may get beat with something like that. But Tyler's aggressiveness um, makes for just a more natural fit for him to play guard because he can get hands on guys quicker and he can wrestle. But he can't do that playing tackle. It requires a little more patience playing tackle. Requires a little more nuance when you're playing tackle. You understand what I'm saying? So for Tyler, that's another reason that we would want to take things incredibly slow. Not incredibly slow, but just slower or just more slowly. Because, hey, man, you may fit naturally here doing this here, but you can't do this exact same thing at tackle. But we still feel like you have the skill set to play tackle because Tyler is a good athlete. He is a pretty good athlete for his size, but he just got to change up a handful of things to make it work there and to work there. You feel me? Um, and then, um, you know, just to kind of double all this up in one big boat, went from Zach Martin to Mike McCarthy to James Slater. Here's Tyler Smith reacting to all that. Uh, what it's all about right now is really just understanding the playbook and understanding what you're doing first. Because when you understand, like, the schematics, what you're trying to accomplish with the play, you're able to move without hesitation. Like, and that's the biggest thing right now. That's the emphasis from Coach Blasco and Coach Fielden is just putting yourself in that great position before we even snap the ball. Like, and that's what I'm really trying to hone in on right now, amongst other things. So if you're thinking, it ain't going to happen for you. You don't want to be thinking. You want to be in a situation where you could just line up and play. We could just line up and play. If you if you Tyler, you don't want Tyler second guessing himself. You don't want him. Okay, what do I do? Don't 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 don't. You want Tyler to play freely, just like what Michael was talking about, or what we were saying about Michael, right? Like when he got the mental side down, he could just line up and be fast. The same thing for Tyler. If you're thinking, maybe you take false steps. If you're thinking, maybe you don't fire off the ball like you should. Um, what I like that he said. This goes back to the center conversation that we were just having, which takes me back to my center days, what helped me understand the whole offensive line, because when you play center, you kind of got to understand it like that, is you have to change the way you learn. So you have the option that if you play left tackle, okay, well, I'm just going to learn what, what the left tackle do on this play. I'm just going to learn what the left tackle do. Or, okay, I'm just going to learn what both tackles do because I could play that, you know what I mean? But what benefited me was learning the scheme. 
learning play structure. And then once you have that down, you know what anybody got, right? So if you just know, like if you were um if you had left guard and the play is a counter, like the counter going to the right, okay, if I'm a left guard, I know I got to pull and kick the front side um, D end or whatever, right? But if you know the whole play, you go, okay, where the entire front side down blocks, backside guard pulls, uh, kicks out the end, backside tackle pulls, wrap to front side back. You see what I'm saying? If you learn the whole scheme, then – you ain't just got to be like, okay, well, I know what the guard does. I don't know what the tackle does, right? Learn the whole thing. Learn overall what the entire offensive line has to do. So when you move to left tackle, you ain't thinking about none of that stuff. You can just keep playing. You can just keep it smooth. Um, did you have some will? Yeah, I feel like Bill – I mean, I could be misspeaking here. I would love to talk to somebody. But I feel like Bill Callahan may have kind of taught that, if that makes sense, or or – emphasize that like know everything so you guys can flow as one but again i could be misspeaking that could be everyone teaching that but it just feels like bill was a little bit different i don't know why maybe it's the, the scheme the system i thought i think he actually had a run game system that required these guys to work as one sure 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 100 makes sense to me and you know even when i was when i was coaching way back in the day way back then back in my youth or whatever i would encourage guys hey to just learn everything because you never know when we're going to need you. you you just never know um when you know we were going to have you like when i was playing center i never played a snap of left tackle until we got to the playoffs there was one particular this one particular package and I had to play left tackle. It's too late to ask what to do now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's too late then. But if you just know the whole scheme, you know the whole play structure, then you'll be um you'll be uh, good to go. Mm-hmm.